All right, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. So Nintendo blew all of our mind holes last night. They were like, hey guys, here's a new Mario Maker 2 update. And it's just like, has everything you've ever dreamed of. Well, maybe not everything, but... I thought we would take a look at this, and don't worry, my normally scheduled video will still go up today at the same time. Let's talk about all the new stuff. So I have seen the trailer already, so don't expect me to get on the desk and start screaming. Although I might still do that. So they made sure to reiterate the fact that it's the last major update. So it is a little bit unfortunate from the get-go that they say that because that means we're probably not going to get anything like Metroid or Donkey Kong. When they rolled out the Link update, it opened up speculation that there might be other kind of similar um, additions to the game. All right, let's go. Let's -a go. This mushroom here is a little different. If Mario picks it up, he'll become Super Mario Brothers 2 Mario. Yep. Ride on enemies and throw them at will. Big enemies. So awesome. Flying enemies. So awesome. Chain chomps are fair game. That's so awesome. Now that does open up the question. Why not just roll out an SMB2 theme? Why put it in the original one? Honestly, I do not know the answer. It seems like they did the hard work already, which was putting the guy in there who picks up stuff and like all the mechanics of the original are there. So it is an interesting choice to not just go ahead and roll out a whole theme, but I mean, I'm still super excited. But it is an interesting question. The frog suit lets you become Frog Mario. It lets you swim through water with ease and run across its surface. What the heck is that? That's so weird. That's so awesome. That's so random. Lets you so frog suit is absolutely incredible. The frog suit is so unique and amazing. The frog suit will make water levels great again. I actually have always liked water levels, but you know, they're usually not made very well. The frog suit will open up a whole new world. This will revolutionize water levels. Very excited for this one. The power balloon lets you float with the fluffy grace only a balloon can muster. Glide through the skies as flying squirrel Mario. Take out surrounding enemies. So many new power-ups. So one of the things Mario Maker has always been lacking is power-ups. And now they're rolling out like a million of them. The flying suit, the boomerang suit, these are all great, great, great additions. And then you also have an appearance. the cannon box. Let's the you fire cannon box. Cannon from your box face. from your face. Charge up for long range shots. Raise your elevation up to propeller three box. Times higher than usual by jumping with the propeller box. You can rush back down too. Was he able to do that multiple with times? The red pow box on your head, you can unleash a pow. It's good for three uses. Interesting. Oh, three Wear a uses. Mask to become one with the Goombas and fool your foes. So they Crouch kind of. You'll be even more convincing. So they kind of implemented some Mario Odyssey stuff. I always thought it would be cool if they put Mario Odyssey into Mario Maker. I knew it would be difficult, but this is cool too. I'll take this. Don the Bullet Bill mask to gain the power of horizontal flight. That thing is pretty sick. Fly as much as you'd like while time yeah. remains. Yeah, I like that thing. Ah, oh, dude. Army. Larry. They're all there. Wendy. All of them. Morton. Lemmy. Roy. Iggy. And Ludwig. Okay, another thing that Mari Maker has always lacked massively is boss fights. This will definitely make it so it's super exciting to see what kind of boss you square off against. It also straight up guarantees enemy Koopa Lang boss spam levels, so get ready for those. The cursed key will sick the frightening Fanto on anyone who dares pick it up. It's a good addition. Oh, man, More Mario 2. Or not. Again, though, it's weird that the there's no Mario 2 theme. The on-off trampoline can be activated with a switch. You can even use them like this. Very cool. Mecha Koopas are wind up automatons. Mecha Koopas are a great, great addition. Okay, now this stuff is a bit crazy. Ones attack with laser beams. Freaking laser beams. <laughs> Those laser beams look so out of place. I love it. <laughs> and at night, they all come equipped with jet engines. That's so crazy. It's so crazy. That sound effect is amazing. Okay, hold up, hold up. There's a lot of stuff that we've always wanted in Mario Maker. 
But this right here is like the thing. I don't know, like this is insane. This is actually insane. Introducing World Maker, a new mode that lets you create your own worlds. Select and place panels to build a route for your courses. Forge a path from the starting point to the castle. Gosh. And change the look of the land in all sorts of ways. And the level of customization the they give you. Made along the path. Like, I fully expected if they did course war or like world maker, it would be like, you know, maybe like place a bunch of levels in order and you walk in a straight line. But this is like design your own little world and you have all these customization options. You can even change your course icons. There's a ton of icons. You might find yourself matching moving pictures in a bonus stage. Little mini games, dude. The nostalgia or is insane. Or a warp pipe to a far off island to run through a wonderfully coin filled course. So sick. You really make your world stand so out by sick. changing the theme to underground. And like, look at this. Look at this. So one of the things I'm mostly excited for is like, you will be able to design worlds with lives in mind coins making coins matter making one-ups matter making a, a world that's designed to be hard to complete with five lives or whatever like you don't have to make an insanely over the top ridiculously hard world you can make a lot you can make a world that's challenging based on the amount of lives that you're given and you can incentivize coins and stuff like that desert snow sky forest volcano or outer space in this way you can make your own super mario game just melts our brains why don't you nintendo worlds and 40 different courses so unveil your very own super world in course world you can like name that your way, world you can take all your ideas that couldn't be contained in a single course and share them with people around the so insane that looks so cool and you can save the princess? Is that what I'm seeing right there? Can we finally get big for Peach again? Glow. Little, uh, few nickety knacks and patty wax at the end here. The third update for Super Mario Maker 2? Launches April 22nd. Comes out tomorrow. All right, so this is huge news. I will be, uh, I'll be posting stuff on Wednesday. Uh, video, maybe streaming, I don't know yet. So this is without a doubt the biggest update we've seen in Mario Maker history. Unfortunately, it seems to be the final one for Mario Maker 2. That is uh, the sad takeaway from all of this. The good news is that the stuff they're giving us is going to make this game sail for years and years. The World Maker truly is just like a dream come true. It's really going to bring this game to life in so many ways. There's so much new content, it's unreal. You know, I wish it wasn't the final update, and I do think Mario 2 could stand alone as its own theme, given that they've done most of the legwork already. I am incredibly excited and I cannot wait to see you guys soon with this new juicy content.